Uh, one of the most common issues with the tandem pump is the uh, cartridge refilled procedure. It's definitely the place where there's the most room for error and we get a lot of questions and a lot of people are doing it wrong and having problems. So I wanted to show you uh, the easy way to do it, the fast way to do it, the way I do mine, doesn't exactly match the tandem video. Uh, what I'm gonna do is first I'm just gonna draw up about to the one ml of air, that's about 100 units. I'm just gonna put the air into the vial and I'll pull up this much um, insulin. Now, I don't use one ml, I'm just uh, pulling up an arbitrary amount. And I'm not gonna be super careful about getting bubbles out or anything at this point because this isn't the insulin going in my body. The next thing I'm gonna do is then put that needle through that self-healing membrane on the top. It's only gonna go probably about a third of the way through. That's okay, as long as it's in enough to hold the syringe up, it's in plenty far. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, and this is the important part, is I'm going to pull up on this plunger. So you can see I'm not pressing the insulin in, I'm actually pulling. And as I'm pulling, you can see these air bubbles pull out. And initially I get really big ones, and then I let it go. And each time I do this, it's pulling air out of the cartridge and letting insulin replace it. And I'm gonna replace, do, repeat that three, and you can see I'm pulling up pretty pretty far. That's why I, I don't put like three mLs. I just put one so I've got plenty of room for that plunger to piston up, pull those little air bubbles out, and then let them go back. And if I do that about four times, then I'll see them. I stop getting large bubbles and I start just getting small champagneing bubbles in there that are just from osmotic pressure. And so now I've removed the air from my cartridge. I'm then gonna flick the air out of this insulin, draw back, pull up the amount of insulin that I'm actually gonna use. So if I'm gonna use three mLs or a full 300 units, um, I'm then gonna instill that air into my vial Pull back my nice, clean, bubble-free insulin back to that max fill line at the three. And now I can instill that into my cartridge. And now I'm not gonna have those air bubbles. I'm not gonna have those random high blood sugars. Um, another tip is as you are filling your cartridge or uh, filling your tubing, Hold the tubing up so that if you do have any air left in there, it's going to come through your tubing first. Um, before we had the T-lock, a lot of people would uh, flick the, uh, the old lure lock connector to get any bubbles that were trapped in there out. I find that the new connector is small enough that we don't get excess bubbling. It's a very small, tight connection, um, so I don't get bubbles there. So there you go.